chapter 17, Mishnah 11. Until now, the Mishnah has listed the units of measure by which the sages generally meant the medium size. Now the Mishnah notes that there are units of measures by which the sages meant the small size. There are some units of measure that they said meaning the small type of that measure. That is, when the sages mention liquid and dry measures, the size meant is the Italian measure. This is the same as the one used in the wilderness. The Mishnah now lists measures that depend on each person according to his own size. There are some units of measure that they said, meaning that it all depends on how big or small the person is. These are a Kohen who takes the Kometz from a Mincha offering, a Kohen Gadol who scoops up the Katoris with his cupped hands, and the law that someone who drinks a cheek full of liquid on Yom Kippur is liable for drinking on Yom Kippur. Some time hold that there is another measure that depends on each person according to his size. Another measure that depends on the size of the person is the amount of food for two meals needed for an Erev Tachumi. This refers to the amount of food he eats at two meals during the week, but not to the amount of food he eats at two meals on Shabbos. These are the words of Rabbi Meir. But Rabbi Huda says the opposite. This refers to the amount of food he eats at two meals on Shabbos, but not to the amount of food he eats at two meals during the week. The mission explains. Both this Tana Rebbe Meir and that Tana Rebbe Yehuda meant to mean, mean to be lenient and require less food for the Eruv. Rabbi Meir referred to his practice of eating more at each Shabbos meal because the Shabbos food is tastier. Therefore, the weekday meal is the smaller one. Rabbi Yehuda referred to his practice of eating less at each Shabbos meal because there are three meals on Shabbos instead of the two that eaten on instead of the two that eaten on weekdays. Therefore, the Shabbos meal is the smaller one. Other Tanaim, however, hold that the sages gave a fixed measure for the two meals needed for an Eruv, which does not vary with each person. Rabbi Shimon says the size of two meals for Eruv when using bread is two-thirds of a loaf when three loaves are made from a cob of wheat. A cob is the volume of 24 eggs. Each loaf then has eight egg volumes of wheat, and two-thirds of a loaf has two-thirds of eight, or five and a third egg volumes of wheat. Rabbi Yochanan ben Baroka gives a different amount and says, the size of two meals is a whole loaf that sells for a ponjian, a small coin, when four saws of wheat sell for a sella. This comes out to six egg volumes of wheat.